Hello there and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial where I will show you how you can create the Power BI box plot chart within the Power BI. So we will see that what the box plot chart is then how we can create it step by step and then we will go through the chart information as well. So before I move ahead with this visualization, I'll just want to show you a quick information that this sheet where I have mentioned the box plot and uh, various other tutorials that I am posting on my channel related to the Power BI is present in the description. You can utilize this link, search the video based on your interest. And if it is available over here, you can jump directly tr through the link which is present here. Along with this, I have the Google Data Studio report, which is another link present where all of the videos related to various technologies like Click or Tableau, Python, you have it over there where you can easily search and view those videos which I have posted along with some of the project's information. All right, so let's go ahead and see the box plot chart within Power BI. All right, so here we have the box plot chart over here. So this box plot chart is for four different years. You can see from 2009, 2010, 11, and 12, we have the furniture, office supplies, and technologies for each of these uh, four years uh, duration. And these charts over here uh, represents basically these uh, customer segments, like where the furniture is, home offices, uh, it's corporate, which is, like an outlier that means a lot of sales is happening over here so this gives a lot of valuable information about uh, how the distribution of the data really looks like what are the outliers and uh, where the median is and some more information about uh, if if you are really uh, want uh, are from the stream from the statistics it's more around what, should, what is a first quartile, what is a second quartile, what is an interquartile range, all of those sort of things, you can find it over here in this box plot chart. So let's go ahead and see how you can create it from the scratch. All right, so what I'll do, I'll come here and remove this. And to create the box plot chart, I need to come over here on the get more visuals, click on the get more visuals, and it will show us a screen which where I need to go into advanced analytics. And here we have the box and whisker chart by MAQ software. And if you see, there is a small tick over here like this one. There is a small tick at the end, which means this visual is certified by Power BI. That means Power BI has tested this and it is safe to use it within your visualization part. I want to give you a bit of a warning or some additional information that if your data is sensitive, always make sure that you are reading the licensing terms and agreement just so that your sensitive data is not being collected by any third party over here. Probably or may not be the case that uh, the MAQ software is collecting it, but it's always advisable to read the guidelines as to what the guidelines are to use it what if there is any licensing thing you know they may want you to have it before using it but if you are like me who are just exploring this there is no issue because i'm not dealing with any sensitive company data i'm just using it for my demonstration to you or you may have any public data which you want to analyze let's say for better understanding of the situation or the like for example sports data i think it it is not a problem because it's anyway pu publicly presented but licensing is still a case if you are planning to use it commercially all right so i'll just close this because i've already added it and uh, this is present over here if you see this is a small icon for box and whisker plot and i have already added it so what i'll do is i'll just click over here on this and uh, I can just expand this and I'll add the axis. So what I want to add an axis is the customer segment over here. And once I have it, I will add another category which I want to add the order date. And order date, this hierarchy is fine. I want to add the value which is nothing but the sales. So we have half of the information 
where I have the sales for each of the customer segment for their respective years. If you see what is the mean, median, and all, but I want to further segregate it by their respective product categories. So we have the product category over here. I can bring it over here on the excess category too. And now my visualization is much more advanced. So if I just expand this, uncheck here, uncheck here, you will see that uh, we have visualization which talks about that our uh, average sale is going down over here. So over here, our average sale, uh, which is median in this case. So if you see from the top, it is the fifth value. So you have median type, whisker type, mean, mean is nothing but average and median is another average so mean is nothing but taking all the value and dividing by the number of values and median is that first you sort all the values from lower value to higher value and pick the middle value that's basically the the basic difference between the mean and median so it shows that our median value is going down that means our sales every sales is going down However, if you see uh, our uh, base sale or the sale from for the first quartile is pretty much the same over the period of year. But if you compare it from 2009, it has gone down. So we see there is a problem which is going on in the furniture side. On the other hand, if you see, we have pretty much the same sale, every sale we have in 2009 when we compare it with the 2012. And then Similar is the case in the technology where you have the median sale higher as compared to the most recent year, which is 2012. That means all the categories is showing some sort of a sign, problem signs. Also, if you see, observe, there is a long tail over here, which indicates that there are some deals which are of higher value, taking the tail very high upward into the direction. So, so that's basically, you know, you get to know about what the distribution of the data is and how it is basically working it out. Uh, and you can have a visualization like this, which is which showing you that almost all the transaction which is happening in the in this space in 2011, office supplies, you have the uh, you have it in a very tight range over here. So it, it talks about a lot of different stuff, like I mentioned. You have the minimum and maximum value. You have the first 25%, 50%, 75% values. There is an intercultile range. If, if you are from statistics, you may want to be aware of that and uh, you so that you can interpret the data easily. But that's mainly about uh, how you can create the, the chart, the box plot chart. And you have some, uh, some you know, uh, formatting options over here so you have the orientation very interesting one because right now this is more of a vertical orientation if you see the orientation is vertical and if you want horizontal uh, orientation then you can click over here on the horizontal and you have this horizontal orientation so from a comparison perspective it makes a lot of sense where you can compare not just individual technology uh, the bars within the technology, but across the the three different sections or within the sections and do the data analysis. Similarly, down there you have sorting option. If you want to apply sorting from uh, category one, category two, right now it is ascending. You have the option of choosing descending and you can choose the descending and accordingly it will going to sort it. Then you have the option of box option. It has these options, which is more user friendly from a statistician perspective, whether you want median to be inclusive or exclusive based on how it is uh, showing you the data. Similarly, the whisker type, you are you want to have the minimum or maximum or less than 1.5 IQR or equals to 1.5, which is more of a statistical uh, quantitative values that, that you may want to apply. Or you want to have let's say for example one standard deviation and you will see the value is changed so that is helpful in looking at the outliers as to how this how well you know your data and accordingly you may want to choose in one of these options 
um, box and whisker width is again you know you may want to have like a small width or medium width which is nothing but the very general technique it's it has nothing to do with the statistics but it's more around the look and feel so these are some of the important options which i wanted to show you that is available for us to to utilize it if you are a statistician you are you will going to play it a lot definitely and you may want to have even your own custom setting which is uh, present over here as from a whisker type which you can customize it based on the needs that you have so that's mainly about it the box and whisker plot present in the custom visual of power bi which you can utilize it with just few clicks you have the right visual in front of you which helps you look at the distribution of data so that's about it and i'll meet you in the next video with a new topic